Hi everyone, I'm Truffman from Overclocking TV and we are at the HWBOT World Series 2016 North America and I'm being joined by Russ Prath. How are you doing, my friend? Good, good, good. So finally I managed to, uh, to get you on the stream and on the video uh, because uh, last year after the, we did the interview, so he's like, no, I don't want to be on the video anymore right. again. So, I, I, uh, yeah, what, what, I was going yeah, to bring a body double, but uh, no budget. <laughs> 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 well, uh, welcome back. Uh, you finished uh, second of the HWB yep. World Series here in uh, North America. Uh, how was your experience for you? Oh, excellent! Great time. Uh, I mean, you can't uh, you can't fault that. It was uh, we had excellent uh, not only staff uh, with you guys, but also uh, the the guys that were here with us. All of them, well, we know each other pretty well. A lot of us, and so had a great time. Well, that was like a, a nice uh, weekend getaway and you no know, ben benching with friends, basically. Yeah. Um, um, let's talk about the, uh, the the World Series uh, to, to, to start with. So uh, during the qualifier, you had three hours, uh, 5G uh, CPU limited and 5G mm -hmm. uncore limited. Uh, how did you approach that qualifier? Well, uh, it's like a <laughs> it's a pretty new platform for me. I not uh, uh, my strength is definitely not in the newest generation of uh, of. Uh, well, uh, it's in the newest generation that went out 15 years ago. <laughs> so it's yeah, no, well, that. <laughs> If you look at it that way, then I yeah, I guess. But uh, <laughs> for me, it was uh, you know I had to do a lot of uh, testing with uh, uh, with the platform beforehand, and I'm, it's pretty uh, it's one of the more complicated platforms compared to some of the the previous generations for sure. Lots of voltages to play with, lots of different settings. So it was a it was a pretty steep learning curve, and uh, uh, I thought it went okay for for the time that we had for sure. Well, uh, do you like the limitation on the on the 5G to make it even for everyone? Yeah, it helped me. I'll, I'll say that for sure because these guys definitely had more experience with me uh, than me on the platform. So it was a benefit for me. And I, I guess if uh, you have a lot of guys in my position, it definitely would help them for sure. In the uh, in the qualifier, you um, you had like three benchmarks: SuperPy 32M, 3D Mark 11 Physics, and uh, XTU. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which one is the one you prefer? Uh, the Super Pi for sure. That's definitely the legacy benchmarks are the ones that uh, I'm way more comfortable with for sure. And so that's uh, uh, something that uh, I was comfortable with and I thought I did pretty well with. Uh, you know, good old XP and uh, not having to load these Windows 10 and it's all good. <laughs> Speaking of the OS, uh, the OS were provided to you uh, before. That's the only thing that were provided to you before mm -hmm. because you guys didn't want it to have uh, for the semi-final and final to have the CPU and the memory. Um, how does, did you decide that? Uh, I, <laughs> when they asked that nobody else cared, uh, I, I mean, since that uh, I was going to be using new uh, hardware anyway, might as well have them in the same boat as me. <laughs> so, <laughs> might as well push to have everybody in the same boat. It's good for me. <laughs> Perfect. So that was, uh, for you, this is definitely a way to uh, level the playing field for everyone. Yeah. And it was for me, for sure. Yep. Interesting. Um, uh, stock, speaking of the, uh, the semi-final that you had against uh, Mr. Mr. Breeze, um, you, you did not veto against uh, GPU Pi for CPU, right. one of them. Uh, but I heard that you didn't have much experience on this benchmark. No, I don't. I probably maybe run it two, maybe three times in total. Not even maybe. It could be only one time. But uh, it was a benchmark that I felt uh, wasn't very. There was some. There was some things I knew about it, and I didn't feel that it was one that was very highly uh, tweakable. And so, like something like XTU, which I know pretty much nothing about as well. It would have been way, way worse. And so I didn't want to veto it when it could have been a lot worse in my favor. So <laughs> That's the thing. If you veto, you don't know what's going to come after. Huh? Exactly. Like a uh, reference clock would have yeah, been a disaster. <laughs> 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 would have been a disaster for me. So I was hoping not for that. Well, that's uh, that's part of the strategy. Uh, st mm. Speaking of uh, strategy, did you uh, train before coming here for the World, uh, the world Championship? No, I don't even, I didn't even have, well, <clears throat> I do it as a 170 board, but I didn't have any chips for it or anything before actually coming. Maybe a, maybe two or three days beforehand, I had some chips, and so minor amount of air uh, work with it, uh, but uh, way way different when you start getting cold. That's for sure. <laughs> and, uh, I, I still use a lot of LN2. Do you think you can use more LN2 than that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That that's uh, that's crazy. Uh, you were here at the um, uh, uh, the World Tour last year, the 2015. Mm -hmm. That was at the same event, but not the same location. Yes. Um, what do you think about this this year? 
The location wise? Uh, like the wall tour itself. Yeah, it was. Uh, I like actually this venue. It's nice. And the, the setup you have here compared, we were kind of tucked away in a room last year and it was. Uh, I mean, there wasn't there was people coming by, but not like here where everybody's walking by and they, lots of people asking questions. I mean, even the the benching area is kind of cordoned off with a chain, but there's still lots of people always around asking questions. Um, I can't handle them all because most of them are in French, but uh, the English ones I was able to <laughs> to take care of. So you you sent the French one to Mark. That was your yes. that was your strategy actually to 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 have Mark not qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it oh, distracted him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a distraction for him. So, so actually, I paid a couple of guys to come by and ask some questions, especially in French. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so after the semifinal, you access the uh, the grand final against um, uh, against Mark. But you are currently number two in Canada. He's currently mm -hmm. number one in Canada. You're True. both from OCN. Yes. So that was like a, like a like a. Like a home benching, pretty much like benching <laughs> at home, something. Yeah, and it's actually true. We've, uh, Mark and I have actually benched together on liquid nitrogen before as well. So just the you know a tank and uh, uh, sent a couple guys. So it was actually <laughs> kind of similar to that uh, with that with the time and clock and stuff like that. But other than that, it was pretty uh, pretty similar. We're pretty comfortable with each other. Uh, speaking of the final uh, sunny bench or eleven dot five, um, do you like that benchmark? Especially, so that's why you didn't uh, veto it, or you just yeah. say that that's you have the base chance against Mark. Yeah, it wasn't uh, per se the one that I was, uh, it wasn't on the list of ones I was going to veto right off the bat, which would have been reference clock, XTU, uh, those benches I'm definitely not all that familiar with. And so a bench like that, that I've run many, many times before and stuff like that, then I can live with that. There's definitely worse things out there. Yeah, definitely. And <laughs> when we watched the, uh, the the final, so you were pushing score like for the first 10 minutes, like score, yeah. score, score. So you were actually like fighting back mm -hmm. and forth. Uh, all together, and then for like 10, 15 minutes, like you guys struggled with the with the system. The, do you have yeah. any idea why? That was that the concession or the temperature? Well, it was we were on the edge, and so I knew I couldn't improve much more with the settings that I had set before we started. Uh, kind of uh, with the ramp set, how it was <clears throat> that was all done beforehand, and uh, like we had a kind of a base set of numbers that I was at. I had reached the limit of that, so I knew after this. Uh, it was going to be some voltage tweaking and some setting tweaking and stuff like that. So I kept nothing seemed to be, again, my inexperience was totally the, the factor here. But uh, it was became an issue of me even getting it going again after that. So I had to go back to my basic settings and keep trying from there. But yeah, I guess you saw the results of uh, how that worked out. Yeah, speaking of results, what was the last thing at the end of the run? Did you did you do that, like the low score on purpose? Uh, actually, no, I did. It did turn out, I thought it was amusing, but it, it wasn't on purpose. It, the C state got locked in the low C state at six, uh, six multipliers. So that's why it ran so slow. It wasn't on purpose, but I thought it was a fitting final to my day. Well, the, the purpose was, I guess, to, to run it at the very last second. Then. That was, that part what I did on purpose because I, I wanted to have all the, the anticipation of if I was going to win or not, but it didn't turn out uh, quite how, so if I can't win, I want to at least uh, get a record. I think I have a record for the lowest score. Is that how it yeah, works? Yeah, you have the, the lowest score ever published in the, in the World Excellent. Series so far. So if I can't win, I want to make records. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, that that's crazy. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I no do problem. appreciate to, uh, to see you again. I, I hope I will see you again in a live competition uh, somewhere. Maybe uh, going, uh, you know, see you guys in, uh, in in the other side of Canada. Yeah. No, not exactly other side, <laughs> but all the province. Canada, yeah. Canada is quite big. Uh, well, thank you very much for being here. Uh, thank you. And, and bring back the cheers to the uh, Ocean community when you're going back home. We will. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye.